Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. Is our first guest in the wings? Beatrice? Oh, there you are. Gosh, she's standing right there in front of me. Like, where is she? <laughs> I'll come here and I'll introduce you. Yeah, yeah, hi. This lady. So. <laughs> see, see. This lady studied business, studied acting, and then decided that you preferred to be backstage. She's been studying yoga for, well, practicing yoga for 30 years That's and it. spent, what, 18 months on, spent 18 months on an ashram in India. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Good, huh? <laughs> Where she met her partner and then ran away to Spain. Yes. And she's going to tell us all about risk everything and live the dream. Beatrice Buchler. Thank you. Put your hands together. Delfines, delfines, muchos, muchos. The Scottish guy jumped up and pointed out to see dolphins, dolphins, he was screaming. Now, that was 16 years ago, almost to the day, June 13, 2001. It has always been my dream to live in the south of Europe and work up north. Now I am. It hasn't always been an easy ride, but hey, anything worth doing is going to have challenges, right? So I recommend, oh, so now I'm starting this thing as well, to have a clear intention, because we didn't have that, we just went. And we didn't really know how to do this working up north bit. I mean, living in the south is easy. I recommend, be clear. Be clear of what you want to do. We went to Spain, and after two weeks of arriving, our job had fallen through, and no savings and no plan B, it was really tough. I'm not saying you need a lot of money to live your dream, but you need a lot of clarity. So make sure you know why you want to do this, what you want to get out of it. And the most important point, make sure you're not running away from anything because you take you with you. You're not going anywhere. Once you have your intention and you know why you want to do it, it's time for attention, for focused action. Start planning, start researching, start shooting for the goal and don't wait. Don't wait until everything is in place, you know. Don't wait until you retire. Do it now. Of course, there will be challenges. Challenges are there to be met. And it doesn't mean that you're going in the wrong direction. It just means you need to be creative and find a way through them. The first three years in Spain were the most challenging of my life. I was working up in Switzerland freelancing while my partner was doing gardening design for seven euros an hour in the hot Spanish sun, living off a vegetable patch of a friend, and it was mainly ratatouille. I really thought, this is too hard, you know, and I was going to go back to Switzerland and find jobs. For some reason, it didn't work out. We were obviously not supposed to give up on our dream. <laughs> exactly. So I did go back to Spain, and I was forced to commit fully. I had no other chance, chance anymore. So I decided to go it alone and do my graphic design business. After all, all you need is a laptop and some internet. Make sure that when you do it, don't do it like we did. Try to find where is your source of income coming from, and ideally more than one source. Also note that it doesn't necessarily have to be from the country moving to. I mean, with internet these days, opportunities are endless. And of course, facing your fears is part of living the dream. That's part of why we want to do it. And you learn quickly that abundance comes in many, many ways, like the vegetable patch. At one point, we even got given a car for use, just for free. You just want to be open to new experiences. You've done all the planning and everything, but make sure you're not kind of doing tunnel vision because help comes in many unexpected ways as long as you're just open to these new experiences and you let them in. A key part which was I struggling the, mo the most was no tension. Hey, that's why we're doing it in the first place. And I just could not let go and I was really trying to force things. And although things were really nice and I was living in paradise. I was struggling with this fact. I was screaming at it. And 
eventually I realized, hey, you know, I'm here living in paradise, I'm not enjoying it, and I can't push everything. So the one bit of free will that we actually have is choose our attitude towards the things that are happening to us, or in my case, not, or not fast enough. So it's funny when you get into that space, how actually opportunity knocks. And I was up in Switzerland again, freelancing somewhere, and I had this chance meeting of these two men who I'm now sharing an office with here in Zurich. And they asked me would I like to join them in a big project. And you know what? Everything just fell into place as soon as I started to relax and the no tension bit. So even though the big project fell through in the end, it was the move that cemented this whole thing of living in the south and actually finally working up north and making a living. And now I spend at least 40% of my time in Spain, in the south of Spain, and um, enjoy it really. Delfines, delfines, muchos, muchos. The guy was screaming dolphins. And we had these goosebumpy moments because just moments earlier we had been drawing our dream life on those paper tablecloths and looking, and it was dolphins and palm trees. And looking out onto the bay, literally full of dolphins, we knew we had come to the right place to start our dream. <laughs>